line. Um, in the last uh, maybe 30 years, there's been a big movement toward mainstreaming kids like that into public schools. And I can understand, especially, you know, if you if a parent doesn't want to send their child so far away from home to go to school, I can totally get that. But at the same time, you know, there's so much bullying that goes on in public schools. And uh, I, I, believe me, if I had a child with a visual disability, I would not want to send them to a public school. Um, yeah. And I, yeah. I, I just think that yeah. you, know, they, you lose something like that. You don't get to participate in the everyday things that everybody, you know, when I was growing up, we had choir, we had band, we had wrestling teams, we had cheerleaders. I mean, you know, we were all visually impaired on some level, not totally blind, not all of us, but, you know, but we could all participate. You go to a public school and they look at you like you got three heads if you want to try to do something. And, yeah. um, you know, it's just not the same. When you go to college, that's another story. I went to IU, and by that time, I was like, look, I'm here. If you don't like me, well, tough. <laughs> but, Corey Miller, we but, we have a blind association here located in Evansville, Indiana. Do you know what all that uh, uh, blind association uh, organization do here locally? Corey uh, Miller. I mean, that's a national. That's a national um, association, and so I'm sure the, that uh, they are, um, um, you know, do what the other chapters and around the the country. Um, yeah. It's just like a, it's just like AARP or the NAA, uh, yeah. NAACP. Uh, okay. I have not uh, interacted with them, but okay. I'm sure that. Uh, yeah, that okay. that it's good that we do have that here. Yeah. Also, uh, with Dan Kenneth, Dan Kenneth, mm-hmm. what do you say about the cancer uh, organizations worldwide? Well, um, I went to the um, Philadelphia Cancer Centers, and this is Cancer Centers of America. Um, yeah. They were very consistent with how they treated you when you came into that facility, there was always a smile. There was always um, someone there who genuinely was concerned about how you felt. You were able to meet so many people that had cancer in various stages, um, whether they were very young or very old. Um, so it made you feel comfortable. Um, it was, you know, a rough time on me, you know, just finding it. And I had cancer that was, um, they couldn't find the primary. So there was no primary ever found, so they had to treat me the best way that they could. Um, But I would recommend the Cancer Centers of America. I think they're in various um, states. I don't think they're everywhere, but I know the one that I went to was in Philadelphia. Um, And I would also say to um, African-American men that they need to get checked, um, prostate colon cancers, all of those things that can be prevented. Um, I was blessed to find um, that something was wrong with me early. And it was just by, you know, bending over a cabinet and cleaning something off, I found this lump and I went and found that it was um, a lymph node that, you know, there was cancer that had entered into the lymph node. So it behooved us to, you know, check early um, to prevent you know, you know the onset of the cancer. You know, as it comes into different stages. But I would recommend, and you can give. Rod and I both have given to the cancer centers um, for people um, that have cancer, and you know, monies that could help them um, with their medical bills. So, you know, that's something that. Um, you know, once you go through something, then you have more of a passion. You have more of an understanding of what other people go through. And so that is a good charity to give, and they are a good organization to support. Thank you for that information, Dan Kennan. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Um, at this time, we're almost coming to a close uh, of this show. Uh, I would like uh, Corey Miller to repeat location and information where persons locally can purchase tickets and any persons uh, in the United States uh, that can um, 
purchase uh, advanced tickets online. Go ahead, Corey Miller. Thank you. Okay. Um, the show will be at the Evansville Community Development Annex, also known as the Annex, at 315 mm-hmm. Taylor Avenue. Uh, tickets can be purchased on eventbrite.com uh, slash da- uh, Rod Clemens, uh, R-O-D-C-L-E-M-M-O-N-S. And uh, they can also be purchased at uh, Lynch's House of Coiffure on Lincoln Avenue and Kentucky Avenue and Shark's Den on Lincoln Avenue. I believe it's 742 Lincoln Avenue. And also, I have tickets. You can contact me at area code 323-804-0787. Again, 323-804-0787. And also, Lady Diva has tickets. Hey, hey. Come on down. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that information, Miller Miller. And um, Miller also. Man, Miller Man Productions. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I like that name. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Rod and Dan, um, you also will post uh, any other upcoming uh, performances in other cities on your uh, social pages which are on uh, oh, yeah. Instagram, yeah. Facebook, uh, and Twitter, too, yeah. as well? Correct. Okay. Uh-huh. All yeah. right. And also, oh, yeah. so you're I'm more than welcome, you both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can give a shout-out to all the persons that supported you on this journey and more forthcoming, more blessings. Go ahead. Either one of you could start. Go ahead, well, I want to thank you, Lady Diva. Thank oh. you all for your support. Um, <laughs> even before we were invited to come there, you supported us by interviewing us on your program. That was an yeah. honor. Um, Mr. Corey Miller, we want to um, show our appreciation to you for yes. having us as well. Um, we'd like to shout out to, um, well, I, I would shout out to my parents who have always been there. Um, uh, all of the EZs and um, AM, I think it's ANW uh, promotion for always sticking by us and, and working with us and giving us a lot of the interviews that we have gotten. Um, we want to say a shout out to Bill Mitchell. He was one of our um, bass players and um, he had two strokes. He's in the hospital yeah. now, but from what I know, he is recovering. He's wiggling his hands and gesturing. So and he has been very supportive of, of us in our videos. And Brian Chacon, who has done um, a lot of our video work, um, I'm going to let uh, Rod take it from here. Yeah, and I want to give a shout-out to my parents. Both of them, of course, are gone home to be with God. But, I mean, I, I wouldn't be worth two cents without my mother and father. And um, And definitely the way that they supported me and, um, as much as they did not like my having to go away to school at the ripe old age of four years old, but, but it was the best thing, and that is the reason why I am the independent person that I am now. And um, I, of course, uh, I'm really grateful, Dan, to you and for the way that you interpreted uh, my music on your album and um mm-hmm. And absolutely, Lady Diva. Uh, so I'm, I'm yeah. just, I'm excited to meet you face to face and Corey and the band. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're starting a new radio campaign with a, a new promoter named Marvin Mack, uh, who is out in California, and he'll be helping us to get onto the Billboard panel of stations. And uh, I right. definitely want to say a, a shout out to him and also the amazing financiers who are helping us to make that happen because that costs an arm and a leg and a neck and a spine and other body parts. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> and y'all, don't let him fool y'all because he, he, he might walk around with a stick, but he's not blind. <laughs> he's not <gonna> be blind. <laughs> he, he can see better than I can. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, probably, he probably has a, a a a very good hearing. He can hear very mm-hmm. well. And tell me, yeah, I do. I have good hearing, and I also have yeah. very good cane techniques. So I can get around. Yeah. It takes me very yeah. little time to learn places, and 
I, I go to the gym here, and, you know, they, they're doing all these renovations, and everybody's like, how the fuck do you walk around, blah, blah, and it changes every week. I'm like, just you'd be amazed. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, and then you have the nerve to say, "Oh, you cited, you cited people are crazy." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's hilarious! Oh my gosh! Uh uh-uh. uh, no, no, uh uh-uh. uh. Oh yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. So Evansville, y'all better come it. out, Evansville. <laughs> oh my exactly. gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. goodness. Y'all in for it. <laughs> all yeah. right. No, we're going to have fun. We're going to have yeah, a Yeah, this we're is gonna all going to happen uh, uh, for our curious listeners uh, here locally, uh, where I'm stationed at here in Evansville, Indiana. Rod Clemens and Dan Ken is coming September 28th to perform for us live all their music on their albums and uh, yeah. participating with the audience. Uh, there are tickets you can buy advance online at Eventbrite. Is that correct, Corey Miller? That's correct. Eventbrite.com All right. forward slash Rod Clemens. And doors open at 7 p.m. Is that correct, Miller? Yes, it is. 7 p.m., 7 to 11. All right. All right. Well, we're coming to a close of the show. Any words of encouragement uh, either you uh, men would like to give at this moment or a message to deliver? Miller, Rod, Dan, either one of you could speak. Go ahead. I just want to say, people, just come on out and, um, you know, put your butts in the seats and let's do it. (laughs) (laughs) Ditto. Those are our words of encouragement. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Okay. All righty now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my face hurts. Uh, Excuse me. (laughs) Okay. Well, I'll be. Mm Yes. I'll be dancing and uh, standing up dancing and taking a. Videos and pictures and everything. I'll be there hosting. Oh, everything. there you go. Yeah. You Wonderful. Yeah, you well, I want to thank you all for your participation and uh, calling in on the show. Miller Miller, Dan Kenneth. Miller Man. Clinton. Y'all all hey, have a good yeah. evening. Thank and you. I'm going to say good night. I'm going to say good night. And uh, thank you all. Keep in touch. The last song I'm going to play is Amen by Rod Clemens. I want to thank everyone for their participation, and I want to thank all the curious listeners for their support. This is Lady Diva signing out. Good night, everyone. (laughs) 